Hey Taurus, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a general reading for October 28th through the 31st. Um, any information you need, Taurus, you can find it in the description box down below. I do have personals open right now. It is a three question video read. Uh, it is 44.44. You get it within 48 hours. Everything's down below, Taurus. We're going to go ahead and begin here, see what we got for you, okay? What do we have for Taurus? October 28th through the 31st. This is for Taurus here. Monday looks good. Good energy for Tuesday as well here. Wednesday's energy a little heavier. Uh-huh. Okay, we got two. Po wow. Okay. Um, two of Swords is in the reverse position on the bottom of the deck. Somebody here might have their moon in um, their moon in Libra, but you don't necessarily have to. Uh, you could have your your moon or rising in Capricorn or Libra. Um, Monday's energy looks great, you guys, especially for those of you um, you know who are connecting with new people. I feel like you could be connecting with someone new because you just get this energy of like laying down your roots. You got the Four of Wands. This can just be like happy home, happy family energy. So. You know, maybe there is like happiness in the home on Monday. It could be that kind of energy showing up here. Someone here might have Venus in Aries or Venus in Cancer. So could just be some comforting, warm, inviting, welcoming energy in the home. Like maybe you're cooking something really good. It's just a good vibe, you know. You got the Two of Cups showing up right here. You could be laying down new roots with a new person though. This could also be an agreement that's happening here. Some of you, this could be like an interview uh, that leads to you laying down new roots, like at a job or something of that nature. Um, and then we have this Six of Wands energy, which is success, high honor, recognition, achievement, attention. Some of you, you could be getting into a commitment with someone new here. But this could also, like I said, like I said, uh, just represent like an agreement, a comforting energy in general, um, like an interview, some sort of success happening here on Monday. It looks like really good energy. You know, you got the um, Nine of Pentacles, okay? The Page of swords and the queen of wands so regardless of whatever this is going on here on monday i feel like tuesday's energy shows somebody eyeballing that okay because nine of pentacles is a card of like security uh it can show up for like financial independence success this is venus in virgo energy some of you if you have like made a big purchase that um is flashy you know or maybe somebody considers it flashy like maybe you've gotten like a new vehicle or a new watch or you know a new wardrobe haircut whatever the case may be here Taurus I feel like somebody's kind of side-eyeing you like oh you know who does Taurus think they are it's that kind of energy here it's it's giving me a weird vibe like this uh, page of swords um you know that can be somebody who's curious observant um so i do feel like someone's watching you here like they have eyes on you um like you have that six of wands energy there's something that you're succeeding at you're happy with that two of cups four of wands energy nine of pentacles like you're just looking really good. You're feeling really good. You have this queen of wands energy. You're confident. I think that's what's bothering someone is because, um, you know, your confidence and your level of control, I think, is rubbing them the wrong way. It's reminding them that they don't have confidence or control either within themselves or of you. That's interesting. So for some of you, this is a person who's like, well, why does Taurus have that confidence? Who do they think they are? And it's like, in reality, this is just someone who has buried that within themselves. Like, you know, they can't access it anymore. So they're envious and, you know, that you have it, right? And for others of you, it's this energy of somebody who it's just rubbing them the wrong way because you're doing something that kind of goes against what they wanted you to do. Like somebody could have given you advice, for example, and you're like, no, I'm pretty confident in the way that I'm doing things, but thank you. And I feel like they're kind of like, it's rubbing them the wrong way. It's hurting their ego. Like it's putting them in a weird, um, you know, in a weird spot mentally with themselves. So if you, if somebody starts acting differently towards you on Tuesday after some sort of good news, either on Monday or Tuesday, I feel like that's where that's coming from is some sort of control issue. Wow. Yeah. And then, you know, better yet, like when we look at Wednesday's energy, I was wondering why this heaviness was showing up and now it makes a lot more sense to me. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, um, a fire sign or possibly a Pisces here. Some of you may be another Taurus, but, you know, when it comes to this devil energy, this was the first one out there. Okay, it's a Saturn card. Saturn governs, like, restriction, limitations, prevention, things of that nature, like, toxic, um, you know, just kind of dark energy, right? Sometimes it can show up for, like, jealousy, envy, things of that nature uh, when it comes to the devil card. And I feel like when you're hit with that energy, 
you move into seven of wands. This is somebody who is like defensive. They're like protective. This is someone who like beats the odds. They stand up for themselves. So whatever these folks or this person is throwing your way, I feel like you're not having it. And it is rubbing them the wrong way, you know? And you got the eight of cups here. I feel like they quit on, on Wednesday here. I feel like they completely give up because like trying to control you isn't working anymore, Taurus. I feel like you're just done with it. And I feel like they're kind of throwing their hands up in the air here because there's not much more that they can do um, in this situation. Some of you, this could have been a connection where somebody was trying to control you through manipulative tactics and things of that nature. And now you're just legitimately moving forward. Like you want nothing else to do with it. And I feel like Wednesday, they could actually end up giving up because of this energy here. Some of you, this could be in the workplace. Like if you're getting, like I said before, if you're getting like recognition from the boss and this is like a good, um, you know, like a, um, what'd you call it there? Like, I, I don't know if it would be like a public reward or whatever the case may be. If somebody's like, yeah, Taurus did this and you know, it was like a really good turnout, blah, blah, blah. This was a really good idea of Taurus's, right? This person could be a little bit envious of that. Maybe they're trying to like spin the narrative here or take credit for something or, you know, something of that nature here. I feel like they could end up quitting on Wednesday. I feel like, you know, just trying to control you is no longer working here, you know, or trying to like silence you, whatever it is that they're trying to do to you, Taurus. I feel like it's not working. And around the 30th, like around Wednesday here, I feel like they're they're gonna stop trying, you know? That's the energy I get here. Uh Thursday looks good, okay? Thursday's energy looks really good, actually, because, you know, you have this Eight of Pentacles showing up here. This is another reason for some of you that I think this could be a workplace situation where somebody could be trying to control things, and it's just not working anymore, so, you know, they're throwing their hands up here, but this Eight of Pentacles, like, you're hard at work, you know, I feel like you're able to focus. You don't have to focus on, like, gossip or drama or this person, uh, you know, you don't have to try to fix things that they have said or have tried to mess up, you know? Like, for example, if they try to get in between you and others, you know, or say that you did something that you didn't do, like, you no longer have to worry about that. I feel like you're able to focus. You have the Five of Cups in the reverse position, okay? Now, Five of Cups upright is a card of, like, disappointment, grief, sorrow, loss, feeling drained. I feel like you're no longer feeling drained because this energy is not around. Even if this doesn't have to do with work, I feel like you're performing better in all areas here, Taurus, because you're no longer connected to this energy. It's no longer draining you. Like, this person is giving the energy of an energy vampire. It's that kind of vibe. Not only that, but you got the Ten of Cups showing up here as well, Taurus. And Ten of Cups is a card of emotional fulfillment. And it's not just random emotional fulfillment. It's not just like, you know, some random blessing, which we always appreciate that. But this is like your happiness customized. This is however you define emotional fulfillment. That's what the Ten of Cups is. And so on one hand, I feel like these open arms here is you releasing a lot of pent-up emotion. And I also feel like it's you welcoming in the blessings. Some of you, a rainbow could be significant to you when it comes to like the end of a tough journey. You might start seeing rainbows and things of that nature. But Thursday looks like good, positive energy. You coming out of a rut, feeling more energized. And I truly feel like it's because you've let go of something. Um, you know, you've released something here or it's released itself. That kind of energy here, it's released to you because you didn't allow it, uh, you know, to keep penetrating your aura here. So really powerful stuff. Um, but that's what I'm seeing here for you, Taurus. I hope that this was helpful or fun or whatever you needed it to be. Details are down below for anybody who's interested in personals. Like I said, it is a three question video reading. It's 4444. You get it within 48 hours. Everything's down there. But uh, Taurus, if this is where we part, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.